as you can see, we got some controversy circulating around this particular Boxing Max in the 2024 Paris Olympics. We have an Algerian male, previously known as a male, um, now known as a female, that has previously went through a transformation, which seems to be fighting a boxing match as a female against a female. And let me just say this hands down, the test of testosterone level are not the same. There is no comparison. There is a um, unmatched, unbalanced comparison. So we should just know that you, no matter if you change, you put some boobs on you, you know, you cut off your, uh, your, your male hormones, you're still considered a male. With that being said, it is to me, uh, an abuse from a man to a woman. So they were saying last year, this Algerian male, now known as a female boxer, was not permitted to um, box last year. But this year was approved by the Olympic Council to proceed on and enter this boxing match to qualify. With that being said, within 45, 46 seconds, the lady in the blue suffered a right hook that she could not sustain, and she ultimately copped out and no longer wanted to fight. With that being said, that we feel it's right that a transgendered male, female, fight a genetically formed female boxer? That is the question. Now, do we also think that if you're going to be a transgender boxer, should there also be a category just for transgender boxers so that way there is no imbalance or influx where we see that it's not a fair fight. At least if it's two gender, like if it's one transgender against another, I would consider it to be an even fight because it's two males identifying as women fighting against each other versus a male uh, identifying as a female fighting against a female. Which one do you think is fair? I honestly think there should be a whole new category for just transgenders. What am I watching it? You know, I feel like everybody deserves their first share, but I do not feel it's fair for a male that once was a male to be fighting as a female, beating up a female. Obviously, within 46 seconds, she could take no more. If you agree, let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, that's how I feel about this situation. But I'm going to let them go ahead and drop the news on you with that. Erupted out of Paris. An Algerian boxer shown in the red uniform who failed a gender eligibility test last year has now won an opening fight after only 46 seconds. Her opponent breaking down in tears, calling it, quote, unjust. Uh, Greg Palcott picks it up from London with more on what happened in the ring. Greg. Hey, Bill. Yeah, big controversy indeed at the Olympics. A boxer deemed a biological male beating an Italian female opponent with the Italian crying out, I couldn't take it anymore. Despite failing that gender test by the International Boxing Association and being banned from an international tournament last year, Algerian 25-year-old Iman Khalif was okayed by Olympic authorities to compete. And apparently today it was a very one-sided fight with Italian Angela Carini, also 25. After just 46 seconds and several sharp punches to the head, including the nose by Khalif, Carini abandoned the fight, threw her helmet to the floor, stormed off the boxing ring,
and in fact went on to say that she had never felt such strong blows in a contest before. Now, Algerian Khalif has competed for several years in other international tournaments, including the Olympics, but was banned last year due to, according to officials, elevated levels of testosterone. Algerian sports officials have called the charges against Khalif baseless, but others have raised concerns about the health of opposing athletes when, according to one, a man fights a woman. And Khalif is not the only one getting attention. Taiwan boxer Lin Yu Ting is competing in the Olympics, including a fight tomorrow, and has also been deemed a biological male, according to the International Boxing Association. In a statement, the IBA said in part, this test conclusively indicated that both athletes did not meet necessary eligibility criteria and were found to have competitive advantages over other female competitors. One more quote from the defeated Italian, Boxing is a sport that teaches you to have respect for the opponent. It cannot and must not become an abuse. Back to you. Bill. What a story. Um, I think it's quite a moment in this whole campaign, whether it's here or overseas. Greg, thank you for that in London. We got more Thanks. of this. Men fight against women, men fight against men. So I don't, I don't even see how the Olympics uh, done something like this. You know, I watched this video earlier today, Clarissa. I, have you seen it? The Italian boxer saying... I'm out. Have you, have you seen the video yet? I've seen it. I mean, she really looks scared to me. What did you think? You know, I grew up in a gym sparring against a lot of guys and stuff, but every fighter, uh, woman fighter does not do that. So, um, so the power to her did seem like it was much bigger and much stronger. And, um, and it did scare her, you know, and I don't know how old she is, but it's still like when you're born a man, you're already born with the bigger muscles and a bigger neck and you've grown up to be a man. You know, you didn't change genders when you was a kid. So it's to me, it's just it's just unfair. And um, I just I just can't believe that it's being done. And I just couldn't imagine it uh, happening to me. There's not that many women who are w willing to stand up and say this is wrong. Um, and, you know, I admire you for doing so. Do you think the Olympics will have a change of heart here? I mean, if you see her, that, that young woman from Italy, she worked just as hard as anybody else to get to the Olympics, and her dream was dashed in 46 seconds because of him. It is very hard to qualify for the Olympics. You have to go through so, through so many different international tournaments, uh, country tournaments to even make it to the Olympics. So. Um, for me, I can understand her, uh, her uh, devastation, but it shouldn't be ruined due to a man. And I think that, uh, she got her ass whooped. That being said, the narrative behind this story is, is it fair for a transgendered male to compete against a natural female that's what we want to know in the conversation below I mean, let me know how you feel is it fair is it unfair should there be a whole different category specifically for child uh transgender boxers should they all should they have their own lane i don't think it's fair like even as far as athletics in general should they have their own lane because like they said previously stated the genetics is just not matched it's out and it's unmatched and it's not equally determined is where we can say okay they can compete at the same level one is competing at competing at a higher level than the other substantially because of their genetic traits with that being said, as far as what I see, it's not right. Y'all should have your own lane, your own thing going on. Y'all shouldn't be trying to clash with the females because it's like y'all just taking advantage of the situation. And that's how I feel. I'm OG, and if you feel the wrong way, it's cool. Everybody open to their own opinion, but I do feel like y'all just getting over. As far as the transgenders, y'all just getting over. As far as these athletics, because y'all ain't playing against men, y'all playing against women. See, y'all just automatically getting at a disadvantage. That being said, don't say nothing personal against this. This is OG with his thoughts on the whole situation. I'm out.